In this video we're looking at a brand new template called Groovy. You can see it here on the page, it's got a lovely blue purpley design colour throughout the entire template. Let's start at the top here, we've used this fixed background image that you can see in the background here. It's an image set in the page settings of the template and that's fixed into position there throughout the entire template. Now looking at the top here, we've added a logo on the top left. This is actually using a four column layout at the top here. And then we've added a nice big bold headline that stands out on the page. Over on the left, underneath that headline, we've added two call to action buttons. Now this is done in the two columns and then we've split one of the columns. I'll show you that inside the live editor shortly. And the first one on the left here, if we click on it, it opens up the overlay optimizer. So you can go in and put in some content there to capture some leads for your landing page. And then the other call to action button opens up the overlay optimizer again, but this time it's just got the video inside it. And you can see we've set, we've set the zero padding around this overlay optimizer. So there's no spacing between the video and the edge of the overlay optimizer. The border is also set at zero. So two sort of attention grabbing buttons here which you can use both using different types of content. One is content and the other is an opt-in form. So let's go further down this landing page. We scroll down, we've used the featured block element in here with the default white icons that come installed with Optimize Press. And then we've brought in that same color for the font headings for each of these featured areas. They stand out nice, a nice white strip across this entire landing page, which breaks up the top row and the row below it. Going down into that row, you can see we've got a nice, another background image set on the row this time. So this is nothing to do with the overall page background. And then we've put in a nice big bold heading again using the same default font and it's a large font we've increased that size up to like 40 or 50 pixels so it stands out and then we've put in some a text column or a text element underneath as a testimonial going further down again we've created another set of two featured blocks here so the first one at the top and another one below and again we've got some little custom icons for this which we've installed and put in the nice and small they stand out well using that same color again on top of the white background and you can edit all these as usual you could use these icons if you wanted or you could obviously replace them with your own icons if you do replace them you don't want to keep the color the same or you might want to start changing that purpley color throughout and as we see as we scroll down you can see the white the contrast between the white row here and then the next image as well this is another row image that's been set and again we've got that nice big bold heading just set in the middle there and you could change that maybe something that were related to the image or related to the, you know, the niche of your landing page and again yeah that's an image in the full row which is set to stretch entirely across the page and if we keep going down we've got another white row it's broken up with some more text and another text block so it stands out nice bit of, obviously on the white spacing around these rows just so you can it's easy on the eye to read Going further down, another row with another background image, a different, completely different image using a different color tone that brings in a different tone throughout this design. And this time we've used in the four featured rows, again with the default icons on each of these. So these icons come pre-installed with Optimize Press. So you could obviously switch them around with some of the other default ones, or you could put in your own icons. Again, we've also increased the font on these featured block headings. We've set the font to be much larger. I can show you that inside the live editor. And let's just keep going down. So this is now breaking up again into another white row, which we've used for the testimonials. So if you've got some social proof, get some social proof on your pages. You know, you can tweak these testimonials. You could even go into one of the other templates if there's a, a preferred template design or a, a testimonial design that you like. You could probably copy that across and bring it into this row instead, you know, and switch these around. You obviously don't have to use everything that we put in these templates. And then going further down, we have the final call to action at the bottom with a little button using that sort of transparent or there's no color set on the background, so it's the same button color as the row color. And we've got a little white border on it. If we click on it, opens up the overlay optimizer again which is coming down so you can grab, grab some leads if they get towards the bottom of your page you can see as well this font it's got a little bit more spacing set on this um, font here this headline and then you can obviously change that and increase that if you wanted to so that's the groovy template let's jump inside the live editor just to show you the overlay optimizer and the featured block there so if we scroll down here you can see here's the two button option that we have. So this row, this entire row is a two column row and then we split the column on the left and that's done by hovering over and clicking on this little plus icon here and it opens up and offers you 
the column option, so to split it again into another two columns. So that's what we've done there. The overlay optimizer, if I open up the overlay optimizer on this video, and if we go to advanced options, you can see here that we have zero set for padding and zero set for bottom padding as well and right padding. And then also the border size has been taken down to zero as well. So there's no border showing. Sometimes you can adjust the padding and if you don't realize the borders up there, you still have this spacing between the edge of the overlay optimizer and the content inside it. So what that's done there is given us that crisp, clean look where it's got the video and then directly from the video, it's just the edge of the overlay optimizer. There's no spacing between the video and the edge of it. And let's scroll down a bit to that last featured block at the bottom. You can see here, this is the featured block, here's the four elements inside it. Let's open it up and we'll scroll right to the bottom of this to go to the advanced options. And in here you can see, here's the font size we've set to 40 and it's also set to bold. Okay, so that's making that font stand out there, the numbers standing out in that featured block. And you can customize all those fonts in the featured blocks. You could change this font style of the text underneath and also the color as well of everything inside that. So there you have it guys, there's the Groovy template. As always, we'll love to see it on your site if you're using it. It's available inside the Clubhouse. You can go and download it now and start using it. Tweak it up, change it around, keep the same color tone or even change the color tone to match that of your own business design.